Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be building a frame to hold a beetle up so that you can like get under it and not get killed. So uh, we're at Home Depot, we're about to go get some 2x4s. Oh, okay. All right. 2x4, right here. Lumber. It's a 2x3, uh-uh. This is the straightness that you want. Yeah. That's the. Sh yeah, I got you. That's the straightness that you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you don't want it. You don't want all this. You don't want it all messed up. So we got one pressure treated two by four. That's not gonna work. There we go. We got two regular ones. This is way lighter. Yes, Rob. And uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We got two cans of spray paint. We'll go over all the stuff when we, we get back splinter. to the house. We'll, we'll so we're cutting the uh, the two by fours to make the uh, what's it called? What are we calling it? It's not a sawhorse, but it's a. Uh, it's a frame. It's a frame to hold the beetle up. So okay, listen. Yeah. Right, I cut all these to length. We'll put the lengths. Um, we'll show a picture of our. We'll make a list of the lengths that you need to cut your two by fours to. Yeah, we'll have um, a list of plans in the description. There are two kiln dried and one pressure treated. The pressure treated are going to go on the ground. You don't need to use pressure treated depending on how long it's going to be on the frame. Well, we'll have a list of plans in the Dumpworks website. Link in the description. <laughs> that was easier than the handsaw. Oh, I was using was for it? a minute. Instead of marking new um. New lines, just butt up your two joints here. Your two pieces, butt them up together. Um, and just. Then you just wanna like make mark. Sure equal, shut up. You, wa uh, you wanna <laughs> mark at the end of the first one you cut so you don't have to take any more measurements off the wood. Make sure the joint is up correctly. And then just. Helper's got this, he's a woodworker. Line. I'm a metal worker. This. We know the problems here. So now, you have. Four. And you have your line. <laughs> Um, line it up. Now, if you have a laser saw, it's a lot easier. But you Talk want, okay, listen. Talk you want the end of your blade. Okay, come. This is called the curve of the blade. This bottom of the teeth here. Jaw. That's called the curve of the blade. Look at that. See how the thickness of the blade? That's called the curve. Don't yeah. touch that. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Look at. So now the end, edge of this curve needs to be on this line because we're gonna remove material. If we go exactly on the line, you're gonna remove more material than we need to. And it's not gonna work. So when you're down, you want. Come this way. You want the edge of your kerf, the edge of the blade, to be on the line. Just like that. See that? Yep. Okay. Now you can work cut. Okay, I'm going to pull the camera back and watch this. <laughs> okay. All right, we got the wood cut, so I'm going to have Helper here tell you what's all about them. Okay, so now all the wood's cut to length. We have two presbytery 30 inches, two regular uh, kill and dry 30 inches. We have four pieces of 27. Uh, cut 27 inches. Um, the total height of the frame is going to be two and a half feet tall. So um, this is trade size wood. So it's an inch and a half. It's a two by four, so it's trade size inch and a half by three and a half inches. So um, you need to take off, <laughs> take off uh, three inches total. So you have inch and a half at the top, inch and a half at the bottom. So those four pieces of 27 inches. Um, over here we have our four pieces of 10 inches for the structural support and just to hold it all together. Um, you need, you really only need two, pre two pieces of pressure treated and two pieces of regular, but we ran out of regular, so we just had an extra piece of pressure treated. So um, that's the wood, now let's get assembled. We're gonna put some glue on the wood and then uh, drill it so right, the glue listen. like sets well. It's, well it's this is a together, butt joint, so. so we have end grain here. Halbert will tell you about so, it. So um, if you want a strong connection, what you do first is you just get a bead of glue right there at first, yeah. and then a small bead, not yeah. that big actually. And you're just gonna push it into the end grain, and that'll help seal up the end grain. So when you make your actual connection, um, the glue won't soak in all the end grain, and then you won't get a strong bond. Um, let that sit for a minute, and then we can start gluing up our joints. If you have clamps, take a clamp and clamp this piece of wood to here, going all the way that way. Obviously, just clamp it, and that'll give you a stronger bond. Put a nail gun; it'd be easier. All right, so we got the first frame done. Now we're gonna have another same thing, except it's gonna be the other side. Um, same thing, you're just gonna 
Screw up that joint right there. Screw it in. It's the same thing. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so I'm going to kind of explain what me and my helper were doing here because when we were doing this, there wasn't much time to, like, describe what we were doing. We were trying to do this because we were kind of losing daylight and we wanted to get this under the beetle so we could lift it up before it got dark. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take one of your uh, pressure-treated 30 inches, 30 inch ones and one of your regular 30 inch ones then you're going to take two 27 inch regular ones you're going to screw those together sandwiching the 27 inch ones between the two 30 inch ones with the pressure treated one on the bottom you're going to do that twice so you're going to make two squares out of the two by fours with 30 inch ones on top 27 inches 27 inch ones in the centers um after that, you're going to take those two, you're going to take the 10 inch 2x4s, placing the pressure treated ones on the bottom because that's where it's going to get wet most likely from rain, snow, anything like that. So you're going to sandwich the 10 inch 2x4s between the two squares you've just made and um, you're going to drill those into, um, you're going to drill the 10 inch ones into the squares after gluing them together because you need to have a very strong bond there because this is supporting a beetle even though that's only about 350 pounds just the body that is it's still have to it still has to support that so you're going to use screws and glue and make a uh, strong connection between the 10 inch ones and the squares dr driving the screws in at an angle because that's the only way you can do it there um, once you do that, you're going to have a square box, basically, because you're going to be putting, not a square box, but you're going to be putting the 10 inch, um, 10 inch 2x4s in at every corner, so it's going to be a box, and you're going to have your completed, uh, frame to hold a beetle. Now, that frame, you can, um, add extra support if you'd like, you can put more, more glue, more screws, use nails. But I think my way of using um, two screws and glue at each each connection point is um, solid enough to hold up a beetle. So yeah, I'm going to let this time lapse kind of play of what we were doing. Probably add some music in the background. So we got the thing done. We didn't show putting these in because we couldn't. And so these are um, 10 inch, uh, just two by two, um, hold the structure together so it doesn't like fall apart. All right guys, so what we did here was we took two uh, 30 inch pieces. The bottom one has to be pressure treated because this is gonna be sitting here for about four months, five months. So um, two 30 inch pieces, one on top, one on bottom. And we took two 27 inch pieces. So we have 27 plus one and a half plus another one and a half equals two and a half feet. So we want it to be two and a half feet. So we built this frame. So we got pressure treated, 27 inches, 30 inches, 27 inches. Now, we built two of those. So we have two of those. Then we took, um, on the bottom, it's all pressure treated. So on the bottom we have 10 inch pieces. So this is going to be 10 inch plus three and a half plus three and a half. Rob, what's that? What? 10 plus three and a half, 13 and a half. What's three, 13 and a half plus three and a half? 
four. 17. 17. So 17 inches across um, this way. So we have 10 inch pieces, two pressure treated on the bottom, two more um, regular kiln dried on top. That's a pressure treated because we ran out of wood. Okay. Um, so now we need to get this on. We need to get the bug on this. Um, hopefully this, this should last a long time. It should. But, um, should. Keyword. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have our other cameraman film it while we try and lift this bug. Uh, yeah, we're going to get the bug on it. All right, so me and my helpers uh, finished it up. We got it on there. It's uh, it's a little wobbly, but the glue should dry. The um the front apron's not how, sitting how I wanted it to, but it works for now. It should hold the beetle up pretty good for for however many months it's going to be. Better than those saw horses from Harbor Freight were. So uh, thank you for watching the video. Like if you liked it. Don't like it if you don't. Subscribe if you like the the content in it. And uh, bye.